Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor. Have another shave of the day with something new in the house. And today we're going to be using Heritage Hill Sauventry, which is an interesting scent. It's uh, definitely, it has black tea, you can tell that right off the bat. I drink a lot of tea. It's like, I probably drink about two cups decaf. Uh or even giant glasses because I make it by the, the gallon for iced tea. And then you get that cedar, patchouli, kind of the green aspect of uh, citrus coming across. You can definitely kind of that woody scent coming to, which is obviously the cedar. And there's bergamot in there. So it's like you get kind of a green citrus uh, scent coming across there. But that's sovereignty, really good. When you lather it up, you definitely get that um, woody, kind of a citrus scent. It's almost like a near sandalwood, though, too, when it marries up with everything. And you get kind of, maybe almost, it almost feels like a little bit of smokiness involved. But there, there it is. This is what my nose is smelling today. All right. And then we have the Mercor 34C with some Aster Blades. Nice little combination with those. And, all right, we'll follow up with a little bit of Avon Wild Country. Yeah, I love this stuff. All right, hope everybody's day is going good. It's been, a, it's welcome to Iowa weather going on right now. It's like... One day you're out walking. It's like at this time here, you could be walking around in shorts and a t-shirt and sweating because it's almost 80 degrees. And then a day or two later, it's snowing. Welcome to Iowa. It's like you never know what you're gonna get. So uh, this lathered up really nice. It's one thing about the Heritage Hill soap. It's very similar to Sterling or Crown and Crane and the other ones that I really enjoy. And, uh, you know, almost getting a, uh, Sterling Ode, uh, vibe coming across. It's just how it feels. Because you got that wood spiciness coming across. Very different. Some people may not like it, but I like that kind of a spicy note. And it just, it's like something about it. It's, just, it's like, it, it's every time I put, put it to the nose, I'm getting something different. It's just like all the different uh, scents kind of married up. And every, as you, it's kind of like, you know, if you drink scotch or even bourbon, it's like you leave it, uh, sit around for long enough and if you drink it slowly sip it and enjoy the flavors you get different uh tastes and scents as it goes along it seems to be opening up in a different way and say the guys over at heritage hill have done a fantastic job again so far i've liked every scent they had the only one I have never tried is they had a one called Continental, which I was just going to order my first order from them, and they discontinued it. And that supposedly had orange scent and stuff like that in it. And I was like, oh, I really like to see that one. That was the one I really wanted to get. I wasn't disappointed with any of the other ones. I'm just wondering if they're ever going to bring that one back. I know that uh, Jeremy was the traveling disciple. He had it, or maybe he still has it. Has yeah, some. He was a. He was the one that got me uh, interested in Harry Hill soap. He's like the ambassador. And you get 
There's a handful of us that do use their soaps regular on video. At least I've seen. He's the one. He's the one that does it the most. And for me, so far, it's like of their soaps. The Washington or the Washington soap uh, would be the one that, if I had only one of their soaps, I would use all the time. That'd be it. That's the one I enjoy the most. Yeah, this is definitely getting that um, kind of like, if you've ever used the Sterling's Ode, their Woody Scent one, this is kind of how it went, what kind of the vibe I'm getting off of it. But it's not the same. It's like, don't, you know, if you don't like that one, it's like, it's you're getting similar to it. Now, definitely when you smell it on the puck, right out of the, bottom, the tub, you definitely get the uh, uh, black tea. The black tea is different from green tea. It's like, like uh, typically what I'll do is I have... Um, Ice tea maker, and you can make basically about a gallon worth of, uh, yeah, it is a gallon of tea at a time. And I make a gallon of tea at a time because I drink I drink a, as an iced tea no matter what time of year it is. And you know, it, it has, I uh, will use black orange pico, black tea. You know, there's two different types of tea that I put in that, you know, we're talking big, giant, family size. Uh, but I like it rich. My wife always is like, well, we only need to use one. No, we're using two because I like it dark. And it's decaf because I don't do caffeine. I have a hard enough time sleeping the way it is. I practically got to exhaust myself to even sleep at night. But when I sleep, I sleep well, usually. But I'll make it by the gallon. And uh, about every three days, you have to make some more. That's how much of it I drink. So I just love the taste of tea. Yeah, I got my own, uh, you know, I got a kettle that I use, I put on the stove and to, uh, and then I got my own steeping pot also, which I've had since I've been, what, 18, 19 years old. My wife, when she uh, we got married and we were together, and I was like, throw the kettle on, it's like a little bit of tea. And I, I do miss the days, like back in the 80s and 90s, you could go to the mall, and they would have shops dedicated to nothing but tea. You could buy tea. You know, the dry tea and just go in to the shop and go, oh, I'm not sure exactly. It's like you'd smell it. It's like, hmm, that smells pretty good. I wonder how that's like with taste. And they would brew you up a cup of tea, you know, for a minimal little price, you know, like 25 cents or so. You'd buy you, brew your little cup up and you taste it. And, try it out and go oh this is good I like this give me a and they throw some in a bag and you would uh, take it home and I used to go you know it's like once a month I'd go to the shops and buy myself some tea because you know and variety I still have some of the stuff but you could buy it in cans too 
My daughter is now a big tea drinker too. She doesn't drink coffee either. And I tell her, you know, I tell a story about how, you know, you can go into the stores and just, or places like that, and she's like, oh, I wish they were still around. I go, it was nice. And I have to blame my mother for getting me on tea also, because she was a tea drinker. And she made her own tea, also. Hers was more like an herb-style tea, you know, but she used all different kinds of herbs and stuff that you naturally acquired in the, uh, out in the wildlife. Make her own. It was good, too. And you get a nice cold night when it was 40, 50 below. Fahrenheit and a nice little cup of tea to warm you up. Well, I fold it up. It's like we'd have popcorn, and then it seemed like almost every night. My dad was a big popcorn fan. We'd watch a show and make a little bit of popcorn, so everybody got a bowl of popcorn, and I'd ask, always request a cup of tea <clears throat> it was decaf though right? it wire you up oh as usual the smirk core 34c is working good didn't really talk much about it but uh, it's pretty much a standard fair i really like this razor it is, the Workhorse 34 c is in the sweet spot when it comes to uh, how I like my um, shave. For aggressiveness, it's just right there. I can see, if I had find this, found the Workhorse 34 c back in the day, it'd be my only razor I'd use. Some people find it mild, but it is perfect for me. Just the right level of aggressiveness, yet mild enough not to feel like it's trying to peel my face off. So, That's why a big truck just drove by. There we go. Now to all the new um, subscribers, I think there's like four or five of you new in the last few week or so. Appreciate you stopping by. If you're new to the channel, comment down below if you made it this far into the video. Say hi. One thing I like about this community is that you got a lot of nice people that like to talk. And I'm willing to have a conversation in the chat below. Any questions or anything? Let me know. Question of the day. How many of you are tea drinkers? If don't like coffee, I can't stand coffee. Ugh. How can something smell so good, taste so bad? It's like I got the it's like if I was drinking coffee, I have to bury it in sugar and cream just to make it palatable. And then the stuff on top of it, no matter what you put in it, it causes me just ungodly amount of heartburn.
That's the one thing I dislike about coffee. It upsets the stomach badly. So I can't even touch it. I don't know what it is. There's something about the maybe the oil or process. Uh, same thing can be said about Oreos. You know, the uh, cookie, Oreo cookie. I can't eat those either. Those just upset my stomach. Because it's... They taste like burnt chocolate and then... Cause a little problem. Nausea is not my thing. So, question. If you're a tea drinker, what kind of tea do you prefer? Yeah, it doesn't have to be decaf. Because if you don't have to drink decaf, your options are great. You know, you've got a lot of different kinds of teas you can drink. And... Is there a certain food that you don't like that just upsets your stomach or makes you ill? <laughs> I think we're done. Got it. A lot of real estate on the face. Trying to get it all. Hmm. something right there. Otherwise, we'll find out. When I put this on, a little bit of, let's see, Avon Wild Country. I sent some of this to Sig, and he, after he smelled it, he's like, oh my gosh, that's a good stuff. He's like, yes it is. It's one of those things where, if you love, uh, Nine Clubman. Man, it doesn't even sting. It's interesting. I can't feel it. A little bit of tingling right through here, which is usual for me because it's that transition line. Because I got a pretty set jawline. It's like you're going up here, and then when you get a different angle as you're trying to go up over the jaw. Ah, man, it smells so good. Avon Wild Country. If you haven't ever tried it, you can find it. Give it a shot. If you like Panay Clubbin, this is Panay Clubbin on steroids. A lot better for its scent. Mm. All right, so that is the shave of the day. Brought to you by Heritage Hill. Heritage Hill Soft Tree. Really interesting scent. It's got a little, it's, every time, it's like, it's changed the scent value every time, it's like, each shave, it just, Brings out something different. And when I added the Panay, or not Panay Clubman, but Avon Wild Country, and just definitely, you, the, uh, I really smell the tea coming out. Yeah, that was a weeper. Never even felt it. Must be a little bump. Yeah, there's a little race there, yeah. But there you go. And that was Mercor 34C with Astro Blades. Great combination. Morton. Fantastic for me. I like them. So that is it. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. And we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.